so today's topic is about radial drilling machine parts now before the starting this topic we have already covered the topic radial drilling machines and we have also covered the types and the number of moments possible in the radial drilling machines okay which were print radial drilling machines in which vertical horizontal and swinging moment then the semi universal radial drilling machine with the all the three <coughs> all those three moments there was another plus one moment which is <coughs> swinging of your drill head in with respect to horizontal axis so in semi universal radial drilling machine there were total four moments and universal radial drilling machine <coughs> which were having five moments now let's see what are the parts of the radial drilling machine so we have already discussed the diagram of radial drilling machine in <coughs> uh, the topic radial drilling machines okay now let's start with the what are the parts what are the components of radial drilling machine so first is the base <coughs> these are some of the important components which we have to mark in diagram also so base what is the base it is a large rectangular casting which is finished on its top to support a column at its one end and to hold the work table at the another end <coughs> so the number one mark here and this this is your base now in description uh, in description what we have uh, what have i have read what is given it is a large re uh, rectangular casting okay this is the plate which is done a casting is done which is rectangular in shape and it is large okay which is finished on its top to support the column okay finishing or machining is done on this top okay why to support the column okay support the column and work table on the another end and this is the work table so on the base these two are the thing these two components are the situated first is your column and second is your work table <coughs> in some machines base serve as a table hence t slots are provided on the base okay now here you can see so this is your base okay this is your work table and now you can see that the t slots are provided on the work table but in some cases what happens they don't provide you the work table okay now in some cases like if the parts if the work piece are very much large <coughs> if they are big so not all the work uh, work what we can say work table can take them okay so hence what is done the work piece is <coughs> kept on the base itself but in that case the t slots are provided to the base okay not on the work piece so if work piece was not there then the t slots is provided to the base only is it clear so this is the base next type is our column let's see what is column now so column it is a cylindrical casting <coughs> which is mounted vertically at one end of the base so it is a cylindrical casting which is mounted on the base okay it is mounted vertically on the base column also support the radial arm which may slide up and down on its face <coughs> now this column consists of radial arm okay i'm just writing r radial arm which can slide upwards and downwards on this column on the top of the column an electric motor is mounted which imparts vertical adjustment of the arm by rotating a screw passing through the nut attached to the arm now see here also fourth uh just read fourth what is given motor for elevating arm so this is the motor now this motor is provided uh, is uh, used for moving of this arm in upward and downward direction as 
दिस इज द गाइड वे ओके सॉरी एलिवेटिंग स्क्रू फिफ्थ इज द एलिवेटिंग स्क्रू सो टेकिंग इट सपोर्ट द मोटर एडजस्ट द आर्म अप साइड एंड डाउन साइड ओके वॉट इट इज गिवन इन दिस पैराग्राफ इज सो आई रीड दैट इट आई रिल रीड दैट अगेन फॉर यू ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द कॉलम एन इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर इज माउंटेड विच इज दिस मोटर एन इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर इज माउंटेड विच इम्पार्ट वर्टिकल एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ द आर्म बाय रोटेटिंग अ स्क्रू पासिंग थ्रू द नट ओके बाय रोटेटिंग दिस स्क्रू वॉट कैन वॉट कैन बी डन इट एडजस्ट द वर्टिकल एडजस्टमेंट ओके इट डूज द वर्टिकल एडजस्टमेंट बाय रोटेटिंग अ स्क्रू पासिंग थ्रू द नट एटैच टू द आर्म एटैच टू द आर्म इज इट क्लियर so this was the second part of the radial machine this was the second most important part of the radial machine that is column let's see the third part what is third part it is the radial arm <coughs> let's see the what, what is the radial arm so it is mounted on the column and extend horizontally over the base now let's see the diagram so as i read before what is the radial arm it is mounted on the column it is mounted on the column and extended horizontally over the base horizontally over the base <coughs> over the base is it clear its front vertical face is accurately machined to provide guide ways on which the drill head can be made to slide so these are the guide ways okay sixth okay so these are the guide ways on which this machine okay machine or this whole assembly can move in this direction so i have already explained you the moments of radial drilling machine okay in earlier part now i am uh, explaining you the parts okay so this is the arm <coughs> this is the radial arm this whole thing i'll mark it with blue the whole thing from this is the radial arm okay the sixth is the guide way okay this thing i have marked is a guide way on which this machine can slide in this direction this two direction <coughs> okay the arm can be swung around the column now this arm can also be swung around the column okay these are the moments i have marked what is mean by swung if you <coughs> need to see these are the moments i have told you and what is what else con uh, is contained on the radial arm it has the motor for driving drill spindle it has driving head driving spindle okay <coughs> then the bit here it is attached and this this is the thing which is given to control the feed okay to <coughs> control the feed means to uh, upper and downward the <coughs> drilling bit is it clear so the whole part is known as radial arm this is known as column and this is the base so these are the <coughs> three main parts of radial drilling machine which we have covered okay now let's move to the fourth part what is it it is drill head so as i told you our next part is drill head radial drilling machines part next important part is drill head what is drill head it is mounted on the radial arm and drive the drill spindle okay so first of all what is the location for the drill head it is mounted on the radial machine arm and what is the use of it it is used to drive the drill spindle okay second point is it cons contains of all the mechanism for driving the drill at multiple speed and at different feeds so all the mechanism such as giving the feed okay to downward the drill bit to upward the drill bit okay then the speed <coughs> that is what is the speed required for drilling okay you can change the speed 
दिस ऑल मेकेनिज्म आर प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द ड्रिल हेड लेट्स मूव and see the diagram so that i can explain you drill head easily so this part you you can see okay this is your drill head now in drill head there are number of settings which is provided to you as you can see this this these are the number of settings which are provided to you on the drill head which is related to the <coughs> drilling spindle okay and drill bit as well so below drilling spindle there is a drill chuck and then it is a there is a drill bit so number of components are also there on <coughs> drill head there are the adjustment which is given okay so uh, to uh, uh, for different feeds for different speed speeds <clears throat> okay now why the speed are need to be changed so if the drilling if you are drilling uh, a machine uh, sorry if you are drilling uh, drilling a material with the help of more diameter of drill then the speed required will be less okay whereas if the drill bit is in less diameter then the speed required will be more also it depends on the workpiece also <clears throat> is it clear the drill head can slide on the guide bay of the arm for adjusting the position of drill spindle with respect to the workpiece <clears throat> so whole of this drill bay can slide on the guide bay okay so see, this is the guide so this can slide on the guide bay for so that it can perform its operation at any location it don't have to, uh, you don't have to always move the workpiece okay workpiece may uh, workpiece will be situated here it will be adjusted and with the helping of uh, with the <coughs> changing the arm length and moving the drill head on the guide bay you can easily perform the operation is it clear so this was the information of drill bay uh, sorry drill head now the last point is your spindle drive and feed mechanism so let's move to the last part what is it spindle speed and feed mechanism that is spindle drive and feed, me feed mechanism now there are two meters of driving the spindle first is a constant speed motor is mounted at the extreme end of the radial end or the motor drives a horizontal spindle which runs along the length of arm and the motor is transmitted to the drill head through bevel gear <coughs> okay so generally there are two meters of driving the spindle okay first is with the help of constant speed motor which is mounted at the extreme end of radial arm so it is generally mounted on the extreme end of radial uh, radial arm okay constant speed motor and the motor drives a horizontal spindle which runs along the length of arm and the motion is transmitted to the drill head through a bevel gear so with the help of bevel gear the motion is transmitted to the drill head in some cases a vertical motor is fitted directly on the drill head and by using the gear box multiple speed and feed of the spindle can be obtained okay so you they have to given us the two things so in some case vertical motor is <coughs> mounted on the drill head which gives the number of speeds that is gear box it pro, uh, it gearbox is provided due to which multiple speed and the feed is the spindle can be obtained <coughs> so there are two types so as i have told you in the first sentence there are two methods of driving the spindle from one which is horizontal uh, motor and second is vertical motor where are the both motors used how are they uh, how are their roles 
which provides the multiple speed and the feeds which do not provide the multiple speed and the speed <coughs> then i have also told you which have the gearbox which do not have the gearbox is it clear so these are the five important parts most important parts for radial drilling machines okay now there are totally i have shown you number of names and parts in the radial drilling machine but these are the five drilling radial drilling machine parts so if if the question is asked like what are the radial drilling machine parts explain them then you have to draw the diagram and you have just have to explain these five of them for 3 to 5 marks is it clear so this was all the topic for today today's topic has been covered that is radial drilling machine parts thank you <clears throat>